And I'm Jeanette. And this is the Product Roundup, giving you a summary of the main news and improvements in your Superoffice CRM solution, as well as a hint of what's coming. Now, today is the last roundup before summer, and we will share with everybody, Jeanette. Well, we have to talk about service, uh, since the new version is now fully released and available on demand. We have some updates on mobile CRM, and then we will share a little about the upcoming resource center inside SuperOffice, where you can easily access information of all news, FAQs, help documentation, and tours to help you master the features in SuperOffice. And we will also take a sneak peek uh, at the upcoming notification feature. Excellent. We, of course, start with the new service version. Now, we have talked and blogged about it in various channels, but in case you haven't heard, there is a new version of SuperOffice Service available. Now, this version has uh, taken a new look at how people want to work when responding to all incoming questions, i.e. requests, that your company receives every day through various channels. Now, working with requests are much more streamlined and the navigation is simplified and information is a lot more accessible. And what's more, because it's fully embedded into SuperOffice, it works well, not just for the expert, but for everyone. Meaning that more people in your company are able to use the features in the requests and handle all the incoming engagements with your customers. Like us in marketing, for example, who typically follow up on incoming leads and people ending up in a forum on our web channels. Now, we have been really impressed with how much more intuitive it is for everyone to work with requests at the same time as it works for the more advanced workflows. So in SuperOffice CRM, you access the new service solution via the main menu. Clicking on requests, this opens up the main screen where you see the shared inboxes of incoming requests organized into queues. And for those who already work with SuperOffice Service, they will find that the features they are used to are still there, but they may present itself differently because in this version, we have taken a good look at how we can improve the most common workflows so that you can work more effectively and faster when handling requests. For example, the way each request opens in a tab and now you can navigate between these as you typically work on more than one request at a time. Or the way you can organize the view the way you prefer it to be. And search and find relevant uh, information on the company or person you're interacting with. Uh, or search for past similar requests to help you respond in the best possible way. Now, there's plenty of, uh, of documentation available on the news and changes versus the old version in our community. So we'll be sure to link to all related content in the Product Roundup article. That's right. For those who have already migrated and are using the new version, you will notice or you'll soon notice that there are some new updates just released too. Yes. So among them, I can mention that there's a new preference available to close a tab automatically when the ticket status is set to closed. So this will save you some clicks. Uh, another new update is that if you have many requests open, uh, you can now close them all at the same time in order to clean up your request tabs. Another great update is the ability to archive attachments. And that way you can save important documents to a company card. You can link it to a sale or a project, which is super helpful because it's easy to search and resurface later. And it makes it also more accessible for everyone in your company. That's truly one of the many benefits of having service merged with the core uh, CRM features. And there are, of course, more and brand new features on the way for this version. So one of them I know is that the ability to get live updates on requests so that you know if somebody else is working on the same request as you. That's quite uh, exciting. Now, you mentioned at the very start that this is now fully available, but on demand for existing customers. Can you explain what we mean by that, Jeanette? Yes. So it means that if you have service today, we're in the process of upgrading everyone. At the moment, we upgrade customers on demand. So if you want to get started, then you can contact us by completing the form available on the link in the article. And then someone will get in touch and discuss how and when uh, we can get you on this, uh, onto this new version. And if you have yet to use service, but would like to know more, then contact your super office responsible, who will be more than happy to help you. Yes. 
Uh, but before moving on to the next set of news, Catherine, I would like to mention one more thing that may have gone a bit under the radar, and that's that you can connect sales and projects to requests. So, uh, which is especially powerful if you want to support all of your processes from service to delivery to after sales. Yeah, that is a good reminder. But what about if you're updating a request using your mobile CRM? Is it also possible there? Since given that mobile CRM is our next topic. Yes. So if you have these fields available uh, in your desktop version, then you will also be able to see them in your mobile CRM app. Um, so you can link to a request uh, or link a request to a project or a sale whilst on the move. Which is great because you don't have to do updates like this afterwards, because then it's easy to forget. So in the same way, you would also see a request tab in the sale and project screens inside your app. So that you have immediate access to the information you need all the time. And that's not all. We also have uh, something I think uh, sales and manager will appreciate. And that's the ability to drill down in your dashboard via the mobile CRM. So far, you've been able to just see your dashboards, but now we, we can also drill down into the data uh, within the dashboard. That means that you can click on parts of a chart and then see the details behind it. That's a really good improvement. I see I often want to drill down to look behind the charts. And of course, I think it will make updating individual data, such as ourselves, a lot faster too. Now, Next up, we want to share a little bit about some upcoming new features. And the first one is that sometime over the summer, you will be able to access information like this product roundup, as well as FAQs, help documentation, visual tips and guided tours in a brand new resource center inside SuperOffice. Yes, so this will make it easier for everyone to master current and new SuperOffice features so that you can get more out of your solution. Now, we all know there are so many possibilities to do things faster, better or easier if we only knew how. So this new feature aims to help you do just that. So more information will arrive in your inbox and later inside SuperOffice over the summer. So do keep an eye out for that. Now, it's important to say that this will become available for our cloud customers only. But we have another cool upcoming feature that we can mention. It is still in pilot, but it will soon be released. And that is the new notification of meeting invitations that happens through SuperOffice and has changed its appearance quite significantly and simplified a lot. That's right. So we'll be the first to say that the new way is a lot smoother and easier to see what meetings you're invited to. So new invitations will appear via the bell like before, but when you click on it, the invitations appear in a panel. So you can accept or reject the invitation directly in this panel, or you can click on each invitation to let you see the details. So for those using service, you will also get notifications for requests and updates and messages and so on uh, in the same uh, notification panel. So you'll be able to define what types of notifications you want to see by selecting your preferences in the settings panel here. I really love this improvement. Less clicks, easier to see what's coming and without interrupting what else I'm doing. So great stuff. Yes, I really look forward to everyone getting access to this one. Uh, before we round up today, uh, we should mention that there are also continuously improvements to the many apps available in our App Store, including the Zapier integration, uh, Get Accept for SuperOffice and a lot more. So do take a look in our App Store for all the news. No, that's right. In fact, we have an app roundup uh, published as well, introducing you to the three recent additions to the App Store. So take a look at that. But that's it from us. Enjoy the summer wherever you are, and we'll see you again in the fall with more news. Have a super day. Bye. Bye. Bye.